Yes, all of you, good morning. Good morning, everyone. If you guys like, if I'm loud and clear, say loud and clear. Fine, I'm audible and visible to everyone. Everybody, those who are sitting online. All right, yes, okay, fine. Okay. All right. So everyone, let's start today's class. Yesterday, this was the last question, I suppose, right? Uh, the sum of three prime numbers is 100. If one of them exceeds another by 24, then one of the numbers is right. OK. Everyone, if I, if I discuss a very similar question, right? Suppose that if I say, suppose that if I say, the triangles, sorry, all the angles of a triangle are prime numbers. I repeat, all the angles of a triangle are prime numbers. Okay? Just by listening this statement, what you can say about the angles of the triangle? I repeat my question. All the angles of a triangle are prime numbers. Just by listening this statement, what you can say about the angles of the triangle? Yes, everyone. I repeat my question. All the angles of a triangle are 180. Uh, sorry, all the angles of a triangle are prime numbers. Right. So, what you can say about those angles? Hmm? Everyone? See, you know what? If I have to frame a let's say a very similar question to this type, then how will I frame that question? I'll frame the question like that. Uh, if all the angles of a triangle are prime numbers, then one of the angles will be, right? That might be the question, fine. So here everyone, if all the angles of a triangle are prime numbers, then we all know the sum of all the angles of a triangle is what? Sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 degree, right? So here, this 100 will be replaced by 180. That's it. Fine. OK, everyone. So it means the sum of three prime numbers is equal to 180. Then obviously, one of them has to be 2. Right? So one of them has to be 2 degrees. So one angle, one out of these three angles has to be 2 degree. Everybody OK? Right? So this is just a very similar question based on the same question. Correct? OK, everyone. The answer is 2 degree. Fine. OK, great, fine, all right. After that, let's move to the next questions now, right? This type of questions we exam they are expected actually, right? OK, fine. Now, all of you, let's talk about uh, this property we have done yesterday, right? Now, guys, please read this question, right? And why I have given this question, I'll tell you the logic also, right? Read this question. The question says, the product of two integers is 30 where the even integer is greater than the odd integer, what can be their minimum sum, right? Everybody, please try to solve this question. Question is saying, the product of two integers is 30, where the even integer is greater than the odd integer, what can be their minimum sum, 30. right? 30, 30? OK, 13. One, 13, 1, 3. Some. OK, one answer I'm getting as 13, right, everybody? Just please try to solve this question. And why I have given this question? Because UPSC is asking now these type of questions, right? 11. 11? OK. 11. You know, guys, this question is actually a very simple question, right? While reading this question, you, you might be thinking that it is a very simple question. And obviously, it's a very simple question. But if this question comes to the examination, then I can say around 95% students will get the wrong answer. Right? Yes, everybody. <laughs> yes, everybody. Yeah, please. Kapil is saying 11. Muskan is saying 11. OK. All right. Rukaya, what's your answer? Preeti, what's your answer? And Roshan, what's your answer? Malamurli, what's your answer? All of you? What's your answer, friends? 
Vakil sir, what will be the answer? 11. Okay, Yashwant, what will be the answer? Same 11. All right, sort of 11. Okay. Okay, fine. Yes. Yes. Uh, Amit. 11 are I? Okay, fine. Shall we discuss, friends? Or you want some more time? Anyone? You want some more time? 10 over. 10 over? Okay. Okay, 10 billing. Right. Okay, everybody. 10 lick do chalega. Fine. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Shall we discuss everybody? All right. Guys, you know what? I always say you have to read each and every word carefully. You have to respect each and every word which is written in the question. Right. All of you. Fine. You have to respect each and every word which is written in the question. Fine. Now, question is saying what can be their minimum sum? Everybody. What can be their minimum sum? Right. And these numbers are integers. Mind it, please. These numbers are integers and they are saying what can be their minimum sum. Right. All of you. So, first of all, just think about those two integers where the product is 30. Right. So let's say we start with 1. So 1 into 30 is 30. Right? OK. Then 2 into 15 is 30. Right? Then 3 into 10 is 30. Right? Then 4 into no, 5 into 6 is 30. OK. After that, they will be like repeated. Because after that, 6 will be coming, 6 into 5. Then 10, 10 into 3, right? So repetition will be there, right? Guys, clear? So these are the two uh, integers where their product is 30. Fine. Now, after that, the question is saying what? What can be their minimum sum? What can be? Right? So everyone, when they are saying can be, so please try to minimize this as minimum as you can. Right? Fine. So you can consider negative integers also. Yeah. Right, everyone? Now, negative into negative is positive. You all know it. Yes. Right? Negative into negative is positive. You all know it. Fine. So minus 2 into minus 15, minus 3 into minus 10, minus 5 into minus 6. Right? So please try to consider these pairs. Because you have to find the minimum sum. Right, everyone? Fine. Now, now one more condition is also given in the question where the even integer is greater than the odd integer. This is the condition of the question. Right? Please mind this condition also. Where the even integer is greater than the odd integer. Fine. So here, this is even and this is odd. Right? Here, in first pair. So just tell me, this minus 30 is greater or minus 1 is greater? Minus 1 is greater than minus 30. Right? So this pair is not satisfying your condition. Cross it, please. Fine. After that, let's come about, talk about this. This is even and this is odd. What about this? Is it satisfying the condition? Yes. Hmm? Even. Here, even is this. This is smaller than minus 5. Right? So this is not satisfying the condition. Cross it. Fine. Here, this is even and this is odd. So minus 10 is greater or minus 3 is greater? Right? This is also not satisfying the condition. Fine. After that, talk about this. This is even and this is odd. Right? So minus 2 is greater or minus 15 is greater? Minus 2 is greater, right? So only with this pair, the even integer is greater than the odd integer. Fine. Now they are talking about their sum, right? So what is the sum? I mean, minus 2, minus 15, their sum is minus 17. Everybody, their sum is minus 17. This is the answer. Right? This is the answer. Okay. So welcome to UPSC preparation and UPSC's number system. Right? So one more time, sir. negative to honge, ye baat hai, right? Because you have to find the minimum sum, so try to find the minimum sum, so obviously they will be negative. Right? Jab aap negative kar denge, obviously you will be getting the minimum sum. Correct? 
but one more condition is given in the question you have to satisfy that condition also right question is saying even integer is greater than the odd integer so in all these four pairs you have to check for that condition also which is given in the question right you have to satisfy this condition also so only one pair is actually satisfying this condition right so just find the sum of these two numbers this is minus 17 that's it fine no, obviously, obviously. See, the thing is, in product, order does not matter actually. Okay, yeah. Right? Fine. Everybody okay? So now, the answer is minus 17. Everyone. And actually, this question is a simple one. But if this question comes to the examination, definitely 95% of students will get it wrong. Right? All of you fine? Everybody? Right? Okay. And friends, you know what? Oh, shall I remove it? Everyone done? Uh, done with the writing? All of you? Those who are sitting online, any doubt, any confusion, any problem? Those who are sitting online, please? Any doubt, any confusion? Uh, friends, no? All right, great. Okay, everyone, you know what? This time, UPSC has asked one question, right? This time, UPSC has asked one question based on the very similar logic, right? Let me show that question, fine. UPSC has asked the product of three consecutive integers, the product of three consecutive integers. Uh, I don't have the question in the slide, so I'll write the question. The product of three consecutive integers is equal to their sum. The product of three consecutive integers integers is equal to their sum. Right. How many possibilities are there? Right. How many possibilities are there? How many possibilities are there? Question was 1, 2, 3 and not possible. These are the options. Right. These are the options. This is the question of CSAT 2022. Right. Everybody, this was the question that came in the examination. The product of three consecutive integers is equal to their sum. How many such possibilities are there? Options are one possibility, two possibilities, three possibilities, and none of these. Right? Not possible. Fine. This was the question was there in the paper. Right? So everyone, when they are talking about the integers, right? So as soon as you have seen this question, one thing is coming to your mind, 1, 2, 3. Right? The sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 1 into 2 into 3, which is equal to 6. Right? The first thing that is coming to your mind is 1 into 2 into 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6, right? This is very correct. But they are talking about integers, right? The product of three consecutive integers, fine. So integers may be positive also, integers may be negative also. Guys, right? So it may be minus 1 into minus 2 into minus 3, is equal to minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. This is equal to minus 6. Everybody okay? Right. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. This is equal to minus 6. And one more possibility is there. When we have minus 1 into 0 into plus 1. Right. These three are also consecutive integers. Minus 1, 0, plus 1. Right. So, this is equal to what? Minus 1 plus 0 plus 1, right? So, this is equal to 0. Everybody? Right? Right? So, the answer is actually three possibilities are there, right? Three is the correct answer. Okay, everyone? Three possibilities are there, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, this is UPSC, 
राइट right. आपको लगेगा कि आप सब कुछ सही कर रहे हैं राइट right. बट एक्चुअली आप क्या कर रहे हैं या, या आपको एग्जाम के बाद पता चलेगा राइट ओके एवरीवन द आंसर इज थ्री थ्री पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ देयर राइट ओके ओके गाइस ऑल राइट सम ऑफ यू आर रिटिंग सर सर नो पॉसिबिलिटीज देयर नो पॉसिबिलिटीज देयर ऑल राइट गाइस इट इज क्लियर नाउ Shall we move, everybody? Fine. So you have to think about all the possibilities, all the dimensions of the question, please. Right? Okay. And you can't afford to miss even a single possibility. Right? Otherwise, it can make you wait for one more year. Zero right. is an integer. Yes, zero is an integer. Whole number. Zero is not the whole number. Whole number is the set of zero plus natural yeah. numbers. Zero, one, two, three, four, five up to infinity. This is the set of whole number, right? Okay. Yes, everyone. Shall we move now? All of you. Yes, yeah, consecutive word is important, sir. Consecutive word is important. Yes. <coughs> Correct. Right. Okay. All of you, shall we move now? Everybody. Hmm. All right. Okay. Great. Okay, great. So now let's move to the next question, everyone. Guys, can you solve this question? Just think about it, right? Just think about it. And if you are able to solve it, it is fine. If you are not able to solve it, it is also fine, right? I am always there to help you out. Question is: Find all the possible solutions of a raised to the power b plus b raised to the power a is equal to 17, where a and b are natural numbers. Mind it, natural numbers, guys. This actually has a very important rule. When they are saying integers, the answer would be different. When they are saying natural numbers, the answer would be different. When they are saying the whole number, the answer would be different. Please, right? So this is a very important uh, thing actually. What a and b are, Finally. right? So that's why I always say you have to respect each and every word in the question, right? With every word, the question gets changed, right? With every single word, the question gets changed. Fine. Okay. Yeah, please. Now here, the key word is what they are saying: find all possible solutions. This is a very important uh, word over here, right? Find all possible solutions. Okay, everyone. So please try to solve it. I'm giving you two minutes, right? and after that we'll start the discussion what's the answer okay suppose that i'm giving you the options one solution two solutions four solutions number 5 uh, sorry number 4 more than four solutions sorry more than four solutions greater than four solutions right these are the options let's say fine <laughs> they are saying find all the possible solutions or let's say i'm saying how many possible solutions are there let's say i'm saying how many possible solutions let's say this is the question how many possible solutions of this question right so options are one solution is possible two solution is possible four solutions are possible or more than four solutions are possible right these are the options yes everyone more than four solutions more than four solutions d option okay one answer i'm getting as fourth option more than four solutions yes all of you a how huh? a one solution no solution no solution to option me nahi hai yaar solution to aayega okay no problem but aapka jo bhi aa raha hai boliye usme koi dikkat nahi hai whether it is right it is wrong no problem you are you guys are trying that is important right Uh, Amit, what's your answer? A, a, one, solution. one solution. Okay, fine. One solution, no problem.
Preeti Singh, two solutions. Okay, fine. Six solutions. No, no, sir. Okay. Six means D option, right? Yes, everyone. Rukaiya Singh, D option. Muskan is Singh, B option. Okay, fine. Rajat is saying four solutions. Kapil is saying four solutions. Okay. Guys, shall we discuss or you want some more time? Huh? Two solutions? Okay, fine. Everyone, please, you just start step by step, right? Question is saying A and B are natural numbers. What are natural numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are to infinite, right? So natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are to infinite. Fine, these are the natural numbers. Okay, these are the natural numbers, right? Clear? So it means what? A can be 1, A can be 2, A can be 3, and anything, right? So just start with the first natural number, right? If, let's say, if we have considered A as 1, right, everyone? Now, if we have considered A as 1, so this expression is saying what? A raised to the power something plus B raised to the power A, right? So guys, 1 raised to the power any number, this is A, right? A raised to the power B. So 1 raised to the power B, 1 raised to the power any number is 1, right? Why? Because B is also a natural number, right? Yes. So 1 raised to the power any natural number will be always 1, right? So here, this expression will always be 1 if A is 1, correct? So if A is 1, then obviously 1 plus 16 has to be 17, correct? So do one thing, just give this number as the power of 16 and obviously if a is to power b then obviously b raised to the power a then obviously it has to be 1. So 1 raised to the power 16 plus 16 raised to the power 1. This is the first solution, the first pair. That is clear? Fine. And when they are saying find all the possible solutions. So what you can do is you can take one solution as 116 and second solution as 16 1. Right? Because here order does not matter in the case of addition. Right? B can be 16 or A can also be 16. Agreed or not? Right? Okay. Let's say this is this side is A and this side is B. So A can be 1 and B can be 16. And similarly, B can be 1 and A can be 16. This is also the possible solution. Right, everybody? Fine. After that, come to 2. Second choice, right? Second natural number. Come to 2, right? Everybody, 2 raised to the power 1 is not possible. I mean, 2 raised to the power 1, agar aap karenge, to nahi ho question. Thik? 2 raised to the power 2. 2 raised to the power 2 is 4. But the problem is, when you are taking 2 and 2, then next also you have to take 2 and 2. Why? Because this is a to the power b, then b to the power a. Right? So this is 4 plus 4, 8. Not possible, right? So you can't take 2, 2, right? So now just talk about 2 and 3. So 2 raised to the power 3 plus 3 raised to the power 2. Just think over it. 2 raised to the power 3 is 8, 8 and 3 raised to the power 2 is 9. 8 plus 9 is 17. Yes, correct. So 2 raised to the power 3 plus 3 raised to the power 2 is 17. Yeah, it is correct, right? So here 2 and 3 is one pair and 3 and 2 is also another pair. Right, okay. So this is 2, 3 and 3, 2. Everybody clear? After that, any other solution which is possible? 2 raised to the power some other number, let's say 2 raised to the power 3 we have done. 2 raised to the power 4 is what? 2 raised to the power 4 is 16. So obviously 4 raised to the power 2 is again 16, so this is not possible. And 2 raised to the power 5 is 32. Correct? So with 2 raised to the power 4 it is not possible and 2 raised to the power 5 is exceeding 17 actually. Right? So we can't take 2 raised to the power 5. 3 we have already considered. Right? And after that we can't consider anything. Right everyone? After 3 we can't consider anything because 4 raised to the power 2 is 16. Right? 5 raised to the power 2 is 25. Right? So 4 solutions are possible. Right everyone? The answer is 4. 
third option is the correct choice, right? Okay, fine. Correct, everyone? Fine. <laughs> right, so this is UPSC actually. You understand, if this question comes exam, if this question comes to the examination, you can't say that this was a tough question, right? And you can't even say that I didn't study this type of question in my schools or, or I didn't study this type of questions in my uh, schooling or something, right? Because this is obviously, this is a class 10th level mathematics only, right? So UPSC is very right at their part, right? Okay, everyone, fine? Clear? Shall we move? Okay. So now guys, you know what? I'm trying to, you know, trying to make you think in the line of UPSC. Fine. Which type of questions or which type of mindset they demand from you. Right? Okay. Anyways. Now guys. After that. It's a very simple one, right? It's a very simple question, guys. Just read this question. Question says, find the value of the given expression 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 plus 7 minus 8 up to 99 minus 100. Here, all the even numbers are negative and all the odd numbers are positive, right? You need to find the value of this expression. It's a very simple plus minus ka question, right? This is easy question. Nahi ho sakta. Right? Even number, even number negative, dikh rahe hai na? Uh -huh. odd numbers positive, dikh rahe hai, right? Yes, friends, what is the answer? Everyone? Two. Okay, two? two. All right. One answer mere paas aaya hai, two. All right. Any other answer? Okay. Kapil is saying 50. All right, 50. Okay. Any other answer? Kapil is saying minus 50. Okay, minus 50. Huh? Minus 50? Minus 50? Minus 50? Okay. Any other? Any other answer? Everyone? Any other answer? Guys, any other answer? Yes, everyone, shall we discuss now? All of you, shall we discuss now? Or you want some more time? Those who are not able to solve it. Guys, please don't use any higher mathematics over here, right? It is not at all required. Please. Don't use any higher mathematics. It is not at all required. Please, right. Shall we discuss everyone? All of you, those who are sitting online, please give a nod. Shall we discuss? Okay, yes everyone. So now let's discuss. Guys, here how many total terms are there? How many total terms are there? 100? Right. Okay. Now, please tell me this thing. What is this? 1 minus 2. What is this? Minus, minus, minus one. 1. Minus 1. Right. Okay. What is this? Minus, minus, minus 1 again. What is this? Minus, minus, minus 1 again. What is this? Minus 1 again. And this is minus 1 again. Right. So actually, every pair is giving you minus one. 
And how many total pairs? 50 pairs. 50 pairs, right. So answer is minus 50. Okay, everyone, every pair is giving you minus 1. And total 50 pairs are there, so answer is minus 50, right? Okay. So total number of pairs are 100 by 2 and with minus sign. This is the answer. The answer is minus 50, right? Okay. <laughs> Guys, this question was very simple actually, right? Aapne kabhi isko is nazar se dekha nahi. Right? This was the problem. Ab usko dekhi hai us nazar se. Thik hai? Right. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody fine? Hmm? Now guys, let's discuss one more very similar question based on this concept, fine? Let's discuss one similar question, please. It's a very similar question based on the same uh, concept that we have discussed earlier, right? Can you tell me the answer? 51. 51? Okay. One answer I'm getting as 51. Minus 49? Okay. Minus 49. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, everyone. Kapil is saying minus 49. Preeti is saying minus 49, Rukaiya is saying minus 49, Muskan is saying minus 49. Okay, guys, here you know what? Here, one term is actually disturbing your entire pattern, right? Which is that term? One, the first term, right? So try to, you know, try to calculate it separately, fine? This one plus, right? And the answer for this expression is what? Minus 50, we have solved it earlier, right? The answer for this expression is minus 50. And this is 1, right? 1 minus 50 is minus 49. That's it, right? So guys, you know what? Some terms which are disturbing your pattern, treat them separately, that's it, right? Take them out and treat them separately, right? Okay, so guys, clear? Hmm? So just, it's fine now. Okay. Good. All right. One more question. Huh? Let's solve one more question. Okay. So one more question. Yes. Guys, can you tell me the answer for this question? Yes. Can you tell me the answer for this question? Yes, all of you. Minus 47. Okay, one answer I'm getting as minus 47. Everyone? One answer I'm getting as minus 47. Any other answer, friends? Minus 53. Okay. Yashwant is saying minus 53. All right. Amit, what's your answer? Still trying? Kalije. Muskan is saying minus 49. Okay. Rukaiya is saying minus 47. Kapil is saying minus 47. Roshan is also saying minus 47. Okay. Muskan is saying minus 47. Okay. Chike. Guys, shall we discuss? Everyone? Shall we discuss? How? Huh? Okay. All of you, please mind this. Just mind it. This is written as 7 minus 8 plus 9 minus 10. Uh, odd terms are positive, right? Okay, fine. So plus 99 minus 100. Correct, everyone? Fine. This is the expression, right? Okay. 
let's start this expression from 1. Right. Let's start this expression from 1. Fine. So 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 plus 7 minus 8. Right. So what was the answer for this expression? The answer for this expression was minus 50. Right. This we have solved earlier. Right. And here, what is this? This is actually minus 3. Right. Correct. The whole is minus 50 and this is minus 3. Right. So minus 3 is not there in minus 50. Right. Or what you can do is, there are two crosses. Right. I'll, I'll be telling you both the process. So minus 50 minus minus 3. Correct. So this is minus 47. Why? Because 50 plus 3 minus 50 plus 3. Right. So this is minus 50 and this is plus 3. So this is minus 47, correct? So one, I mean one process is this, right? Let's discuss the another process. Guys, you know, please. these are first six terms, right? And these are total 100 terms, right? And here, first six terms are not there, so total 94 terms, right? So 94 terms are there and every pair is giving you minus one so obviously in 94 terms how many pairs are there and with negative sign will be the final answer right just try to find the number of pairs right everyone so number of pairs are 47 with minus sign the answer is minus 47 right this is another method correct all of you fine now okay please note it down the answer is minus 47 right Minus 47 is the correct answer. Okay, right? Any confusion, anyone else? Any doubt? No? Please note it down, please. Right. Shall we move to the next question? Everybody, the extension of this question, right? Now, the extension of this question, yo, please. Now tell me the answer. I am expecting the answer from all of you now. Right. Guys, one answer I'm getting as minus 847. Minus 848. Okay. Another answer I'm getting as minus 848. Okay. Any other answer, Pins? Kapil is saying 854. Kapil, whether it is positive 854 or negative 854? Kapil, is it positive 854? Kapil is saying positive. All right. Okay, fine. So plus 854. Another answer is 854. Okay, guys. Any other answer? Eight sixty two are right? okay, no problem. Eight sixty two, all right. Any other answer, friends? Yes, guys. Any other answer? How? Oh. Yes, one. What's your answer? G. Disturb kar rahe. 
हाँ तो उसको हटाइए ना उसको बाद में लेंगे <laughs> जो डिस्टर्ब कर रहा है उसको बाद में देखते हैं राइट जो सही सही है पहले उसको यस एवरी वन यस गाइस Guys, see, these are very simple plus minus questions, right? Okay. And examination, if this type of question comes, then you can't say that we didn't study this or we didn't study this. Or we didn't study this. That's not true. But you will be wrong again. Right? Yes, everyone. So minus 854. Minus 854? Plus 854. Okay, it is already written. Right? Okay. Rukaiya is saying minus 847. Okay, Rukaiya, minus 847 is already there. Right. Guys, shall we discuss? Or you want some more time? Muskan, where is your answer? I'm waiting for a reply. 854. Positive? Positive. Positive. Okay. Muskan is saying 854. All right. Guys. Now let's discuss about this question, right? Here, 1701 is the term which is disturbing your pattern, right? So just take it out, fine? And treat it separately. Now here, they are starting from 7 and they are going up to 1700. So from 7 to 1700, everybody, from 7 to 1700, first six terms are not there, right? So if this is a starting from 1, 1 to 1700 means total 1700 terms. But first 6 terms are missing. So actually there, total 1700 minus 6, they are 1694 terms. Right. So here, 1694 terms divided by 2 with minus sign will be the answer. Right. For this expression, I mean I am talking about this. Right. After that, 1701 plus, right? Correct. So this is the final answer for the entire expression. This will be the final answer, everybody, right? So here, see, let me do the calculation. 16 by 2 is 8, 94 by 2 is 47. So this is 847, right? And plus 1701, right? Oh, sorry, 1701, I'm sorry. So this is 854, yeah, correct. 854 is the right answer and positive 854, yeah, correct. Third option is the correct choice, yeah. Everybody, third option is the correct choice. Okay, all right, everyone, all right. Roshan Bhargav, please correct yourself. Roshan Bhagavat, sorry. Please correct yourself, right? Okay, everyone, fine now. 854 is the correct choice. And that to positive 854, right? I have seen that we will do it. First, we will do it. Right? So, we will do it. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Right? So, when we plus, minus, we will do it. We will do it. We will do it. Okay? So 1701 is disturbing your pattern. So let's do it first. Now, we have to get so much. We have to get so much. Right? What is this? Number of terms divided by 2 with minus sign is the answer. So first, let's see how much the answer is. And add this to it. Right? Clear? Okay. So here we have to do the terms. Right. Correct? It's a very simple thing, right? Exactly, exactly. वो बिल्कुल वैसा ही है। हाँ। Plus minus का अगर position change कर दें तो वो तो हाँ plus minus की position अगर change करेंगे तो वो positive आने लगेगा। Positive आएगा ना? Yes, फिर वो positive आने लगेगा। Yes, that you have to take care, right? मतलब यहाँ पे जो plus ये जो divide हो रखी है, इससे पहले वो जो minus sign लेंगे वो तो positive आएगा। Yes, वो आपको ध्यान रखना पड़ेगा। Correct, बिल्कुल सही बात है आपकी। Everybody fine now? Shall we move? Okay. Guys, I want to give one question to you, you all. आप लोग करेंगे? हम्म, करेंगे? 
ट्राई करेंगे एग्जैक्टली ट्राई करेंगे ठीक है चलिए करते हैं क्वेश्चन लिखिए हाउ मेनी ओ सॉरी क्वेश्चन लिखिए हाउ मेनी नंबर्स हाउ मेनी नंबर्स फ्रॉम फाइव टू फाइव थाउजेंड आर देर विच आर परफेक्ट स्क्वेर एज वेल एज एज वेल एज परफेक्ट क्यूब ओके आई रिपीट द क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी नंबर्स फ्रॉम फाइव टू फाइव थाउजेंड आर देयर विच आर परफेक्ट स्क्वेयर एज वेल एज परफेक्ट क्यूब राइट गाइज ये जो क्वेश्चन है ना ये क्वेश्चन मैंने इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज एग्जाम से उठाया है जो यूपीएससी कंडक्ट करता था आई ई एस राइट सो दिस इज अगेन आई यू पी एस सी मटीरियल राइट आपके भी एग्जाम में कभी भी पूछा जा सकता है सी एस सी में ठीक है ऑप्शन यू वॉन्ट ओके ऑप्शन आर सेवेंटीन एंड वन थ्री नन ऑफ दीज राइट I repeat the question how many numbers from 5 to 5000 are there which are perfect square as well as perfect cube right okay please try to solve it i'm giving you 2 minutes
Yes, everyone. Time up. All of you. Time up. Shall we start the discussion, everyone? All of you, shall we start the discussion? How? Amit? Kuch hua? Nahi hua? Koi baat nahi. Vakil sahab? No? No problem. Aapka D aare? D ka matlab kya aare actually? Aja lag raha hai aap. Lag raha hai. ओके फाइन देखते हैं आपका स्ट्रिंग कितना करेक्ट होता है सो गाइस ओके कपिल सिंह नन ऑफ दी बोफ ऑल राइट ओके फाइन यू हैव वन सपोर्टर हां सो गाइस शैल वी डिस्कस हियर एवरीबॉडी पहले तो मुझे एक बात बताइए व्हेन यू हैव आई मीन लिसन दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम देन व्हाट वाज द फर्स्ट थॉट दैट वाज कमिंग टू योर माइंड Just after reading this question, what was the first thought that came to your mind? Yes. Square. मतलब आप लोग ऐसे numbers को सोचना शुरू कर रहे थे. You guys were thinking about those numbers, which are perfect square as well as perfect cube, right? Okay, fine. You guys have started thinking of those numbers which are perfect square as well as perfect cube. Correct. So can you tell me any one number which is perfect square and as well as perfect cube? Nine. Yes, everyone. Can you tell me any one number which is perfect square as well as perfect cube? Can you tell me any one number? See, your range is five to five thousand. So don't say that one will be. Yes, yes, all of you. Can you tell me any one number which is perfect square and perfect cube uh, same same time at the same time? In fact. 125 125 is not the perfect square 728 yes everyone let me tell you 64 is the first number 64. which is the perfect square as well as perfect cube at the same time 64 is the square of 8 and cube of 4 64 is in this range also 5 to 5000 64 is such a number which is perfect square and perfect cube. Yes or no? एक नंबर तो आप सोच सकते थे ना? Yes, agreed. Correct all of you. 64 is such a 64 is such a number which is perfect square as well as perfect cube. Four से क्या मतलब है? ऐसा number चाहिए हमें. Number has to be there between five to five thousand, which is perfect square as well as perfect cube. Whose square is that, or whose cube is that? That doesn't matter, right? Correct, everybody. Fine. So you can think about one such number, but the thing is, actually, we need to find some more numbers like this, right? Correct. So first of all, we have to define a search criteria, and how many such numbers are satisfying your search criteria? Correct. Fine. So now, what will be your search criteria? What will be the property of that type of numbers, right? And then try to fit in some numbers in that property. Correct, everybody. Fine. Okay. Now, please tell me one thing. I'm just removing these options, right? Please tell me one thing, everyone. Please tell me one thing. A number which is perfect square. That is of the form of x square. Of the form of x square, a number which is perfect square that follows the form of x square. Correct? Yes or no? Right. And a number which is perfect cube that follows the form of x cube. Correct? What we need? We need the combination of these two. Right? What we need? We need the combination of these two. Now everyone, the combo of these two will be what? The combo of these two will be following x raised to the power six. Correct? Why? Because this is this is the cube of x square, and this is the square of x cube. Yes or no? Power to power means product of power. Guys, you must be knowing it. Power to power means product of powers. Right? So here. 
x to the power 6 is what? It is the cube of x square and this is the square of x cube. Correct. Now just think about 64. Guys, 64 is what? 64 is actually 2 raised to the power 6. Right? This is x raised to the power 6. And this is the square of 2 cube. And this is the cube of 2 square. Everybody yes or no? Right? Correct? Fine. So now our search criteria is what? We need to find the numbers which are of the form x to the power 6 between this range. Correct? Fine. Okay. So now I'm just writing the numbers 2 to the power 6, 3 to the power 6, 4 to the power 6, 5 to the power 6 and so on. Right? 2 to the power 6 is 64, 1 to the power 6 is 1, that's why I have not written 1 to the power 6, right? Everybody, 1 to the power 6 is 1 only, this 1 will not be in this range, fine? That's why I am not write, uh, writing that number. Now, 3 to the power 6, 3 to the power 6 is what? 3 to the power 6 will be 3 cube to the square, 3 cube is 27, 27 is square is 729, right? So this is 729. Now, 4 to the power 6, 4 to the power 6 is equal to 2 raised to the power 12. And most of you are engineers. So 2 raised to the power 10 is what? 1024. 1024 into 4. 4096. Right. Okay. And this is 5 to the power 6. 5 to the power 6 is actually 125 square. Right. This is 5 cube to the square. And 5 cube is 125. 125 square. 125 square will be more than 10,000. Because 100 square is 10,000. So a square of 125 will be more than 10,000. Right. By the way, uh, let me write the square of this. So 12 into 13 is what? 156. So this is 15625. Right. So this is out of the range. Fine, everyone. So only three such numbers are there in our range, which is 64, 729, and 4096. Three. Yes, Saurabh, your answer is right. <laughs> the correct answer is three. Right. Okay, everyone, fine. Hope you understood this. Right? Guys, please note, note it down properly. I'm giving you one minute. Please note it down, and then we will move to the next question. Right? So, x square x cube multiply x cube. हमको एक ऐसा नंबर चाहिए था जो साइमल्टेनियसली किसी का स्क्वायर भी हो और किसी का क्यूब भी हो तो वो इन दोनों का जो एलसीएम होता है 3 एंड 2 का व्हिच इज 6 6 के अंदर 2 भी है 6 के अंदर 3 भी है राइट ओके नहीं हिट इन ट्रायल से तो मैंने स्क्वायर सबकी तरफ क्यूब करके देखा है अच्छा आपने सारे फाइन किए इस बार सर गलत बताया था फिर दोबारा किया तो वो ओके 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 बाय द वे इट्स गुड अगर आपने हिट इन ट्रायल इतना इजीली किया इतनी स्पीड से एंड दैट वाज एक्यूरेट सो इट इज रियली गुड आई अप्रिशिएट इट सर भूपेंद्र वाला हो गया था Yes, everyone. If you guys are done, shall we move? Everybody, if you guys are done, shall we move now? Hmm? Okay. Bala is saying yes. All right. Rukaya is saying yes, so. All right. Guys, this was a very good question. And this question is what? X UPSC question. Fine. So, this type of questions are expected in your UPSC CSE exam also. Fine. Okay. So, guys, now let's talk about the next question. Everyone, shall we move? How? Shall we move? Okay. So, now let's start, uh, talk about the next question, everyone. Guys, please read this question. Again, based on integers. Right. They are saying product of 5 integers is equal to 45. 
where all the five integers are distinct find their sum right the question is a into b into c into d into e is equal to 45 where a b c d e are distinct integers then find their sum correct please try to find this question everyone distinct means what distinct means what everyone different distinct means different right alag alag numbers hone chahiye distinct means different kapil is saying 5 is the answer okay one answer i am getting as 5 all right first answer is 5 all right any other answer anyone Okay, Muskan is saying five. All right. Any other answer, anyone? Muskan is saying five. All right. Okay. Guys, please try. This is a very simple question. Right? It's a very simple question based upon the property of integers. In fact, whatever we have studied so far, this question is based on that only. Right? Whatever we have studied so far, this question is based on that. Five? Five? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, Vakil Zab, kya kare? Huh? Discuss kare? Huh? Shall we discuss everyone? <laughs> okay, guys, first of all, the question is saying 45 has been expressed as the product of 5 integers. Right? So please write those 5 integers. So try to factorize 45. 45 is what? 45 is 9 into 5. Right? 9 is 3 into 3, you can write. So 45 is actually 3 into 3 into 5. Right? So 45 is 3 into 3 into 5, correct? So this is 3 into 3 into 5. These are actually 3 integers, right? But in the case of product, we have one such number, 1, right? If you multiply 1 with any number, the value gets unchanged, right? The value doesn't change, fine. So we can multiply as many 1s as we want from our side, right? To increase the number of integers. Correct? I was asking this thing. Right. So just multiply some ones from our side. Actually, two integers are short. So okay. just put just put two ones from our side. Correct? So now here 45 has been expressed as the product of five integers. Right. But one condition, they all are distinct. So here they are not distinct. So try to try to put the negative sign, right? minus 1 into plus 1 and 3 into minus 3 into 5 right so these are the 5 integers whose product is 45 and now the question is what the question is we need to find their sum right so their sum will obviously be 5 right and guys this is the unique combination please let me make it very clear लेकिन 5 में माइनस लगाने के बाद क्या होगा कि आपको माइनस यहां से हटाना पड़ेगा राइट तो 3 एंड 3 डिस्टिंक्ट नहीं रह जाएगा फिर इन दैट केस राइट सो दिस इज द यूनिक कॉम्बिनेशन प्लीज राइट ओके एवरीवन फाइन ओके द करेक्ट आंसर इज प्लस 5 राइट अगेन इट वाज अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन राइट if you have already tried this type of question, then only it's a simple. Otherwise, if you are like, if you are meeting this question or you are encountering this question first time in the examination, then this question will bother you at all. I mean, bother you actually, right? Correct? Integer is keyboard. Integer is keyboard, yes. Yes, correct. And you know what? Most of the students won't be able to express 45 as the product of 5 integers. They will be thinking like 3 into 3 into 5, that's it. Right? 
आफ्टर दैट व्हाट टू व्हाट नीड्स टू बी डन अच्छा आप भी यही करके बैठे हो राइट सो दे विल बी थिंकिंग लाइक व्हाट नीड्स टू बी डन आफ्टर दिस 45 तो हो ही नहीं रहा पांच इंटीजर्स के बराबर ये तो मैंने पूछा था मतलब वो डिस्टिंग का मुझे ये माइनस 1 नहीं पता उधर वो तो कर लिया था मैंने करेक्ट अभी ठीक है राइट सर वो कैसे आप सोचते हैं कि जैसे अदर कंडीशन को सेटिस्फाई नहीं कर जैसे तो 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 नहीं वो सोचना पड़ेगा वो वो मैं भी वैसे ही सोचता हूँ जैसे आप सोचते हैं राइट ऐसा कुछ नहीं है कि मैं कुछ अलग करता हूँ मैं भी बिल्कुल स्क्रैच से स्टार्ट करता हूँ लेकिन हाँ ये कि मैं थोड़ा सा कैलकुलेशन मेरी थोड़ी सी आपसे ज़्यादा फास्टर हो सकती है तो इसलिए मैं वहाँ पे थोड़ा सा फास्ट हो जाता हूँ बस इतना ही है अदरवाइज ऐसा कुछ नहीं है प्रोसेस मेरा भी वही है राइट ऑल राइट फ्रेंड शैल वी मूव नाउ ओके गाइज आफ्टर दैट आई थिंक हैंड शेक वी आर डन विथ in permutation and combination right we are done with this type of problems in permutation and combination right handshake what is the formula for the handshake problem n into n minus 1 by 2 friends when you will study permutation and combination right those who have like newcomer those who are newcomer please go to the panel and read it i mean uh, just watch the video of permutation and combination fine fine so here in permutation and combination what is the question there are 15 students in a class each one shakes hand with one another exactly once find out the number of total handshakes occurred what will be the answer see in the case of 15 this is n into n minus 1 by 2 is the total number of handshakes so 15 into 14 divided by 2 so this is what 105 right everyone this is 105 this we have actually already studied fine that's why i'm just telling you the formula राइट नहीं रिवीजन नहीं एक्चुअली ये नंबर सिस्टम में भी पड़ा हुआ है बाय चांस की बात है तो ठीक है राइट ओके फाइन गुड नाउ एवरीवन ये ये भी हो जाएगा मुझे लगता है इसको छोड़ दीजिए दिस आल्सो वी हैव डन राइट इन परमोटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन इसको भी छोड़ दीजिए हो जाएगा Thank you. Yes. <laughs> We all are waiting for this slide. <laughs> I think sir, after revision, you need to add something. Yes, it is possible. I have added a revision to it. Right. So, guys, today we will not keep it because after that, the topic is now. That topic is, uh, I think, I will see which topic is after that. That topic is properties of numbers. Yes. So, in properties of number, every property will be taking around 30 to 40 minutes. Right. so if today we will be starting it it will be so late right so we'll be starting it tomorrow and number system ke liye abhi aap log questions mat kariye number system ke please kahin se number system ke liye main assignment dunga jab number system will when the topic gets over then i'll be sharing the assignment actually the thing is we are uh, uh, i mean uh, we are ready with the assignment of uh, number system and uh, we are actually working on the reasoning assignment now so once it is ready I'll be sharing both the assignments <laughs> with you guys, right? <laughs> Dispatch over, <laughs> right? So now you guys are getting the jokes, huh? <laughs> so all right, everyone. Thank you so very much.